myself. And and as I started watching, the show was saying that a company called Monsanto that I'd never heard of, or barely heard of, I think I associated them with carpeting, um, had used Bollywood actors, Indian actors, to sell uh, illiterate farmers genetically engineered seeds at much higher amounts, you know, cost than they had ever paid for seeds before. And and then along with the seeds, it turns out they also had to pay for pesticides, which also belonged to Monsanto, and they had to pay for fertilizer, which also belonged to Monsanto. And in each of those things, they they went into huge debt. And finally, at the end of the season, the the it turns out that the seeds, the genetically engineered seeds, needed to be irrigated, and they were selling them in in an area of Maharashtra called Vidarbha, where there is no irrigation. It's all rain-fed. And in, so the farmers weren't told, and it was on the bags, but they couldn't read it. And even if they'd been able to read it, it was only in English. Okay, So they got set up, and then when the crops failed, because the seeds were patented, they weren't allowed to collect seeds off their own land, which is what happened in agriculture since the beginning of time. So Monsanto has, like, interrupted this natural thing where someone grows a crop and then there's seeds at the end and they save those seeds for the next year. And if you're a very uh, thoughtful farmer, you can really do well. If you, pick the, uh, if you pick the seeds that survived during a drought or you pick the seeds that survived despite poor land or, or infestations, Though, doing that over time, over many, gen- many, many generations and hundreds of years, you actually end up with seeds that are ideally suited for each area and incredibly insect resistant. Uh, you know, they don't need strong soil. They can do without water. They, they weren't allowed to collect the seeds at all. And, and so they were in already many times more debt than they'd ever seen in their lives. Okay, the seeds were a thousand percent more expensive than usual. Okay, and that wasn't counting the pesticides and the fertilizers that they had to buy. So they had to then go into more debt to buy seeds again to try again. And when that didn't work, many of them just started killing themselves, and they're still killing themselves. They often in India, farmers will kill themselves by drinking Monsanto pesticide. Towards the end of 1989, a great box of documents arrived at my office without any indication where they came from. And I opened them and um, found in it a complete set of Monsanto files, particularly a set of files dealing with toxicological testing of cows who have been given RBGH. BST, trade name Posilac, is being used in more than a quarter of the dairy herds in the United States, according to Monsanto. The milk has been drunk by a large portion of the American population since the Food and Drug Administration declared it safe for both cows and humans four years ago. And at that time, Monsanto was saying, there's no evidence whatsoever of any adverse effects, we don't use antibiotics, and this clearly showed that they had lied through their teeth. files described areas of chronic inflammation in the heart, lung, kidney, spleen, also reproductive effects, also a whole series of other problems. It's the most comprehensive independent assessment of the drug concludes that BST results in unnecessary pain, suffering and distress for the cows. This is not acceptable for a drug designed simply to increase milk production. Of course, you'll want to inject Pozilac to every eligible cow. As each cow not treated, it's a lost income opportunity. But the problem was that use of the artificial hormone caused all kinds of problems for the cows. It caused something called mastitis, uh, which is a very painful uh, infection of the udders. When you milk the cow, if the cow has bad mastitis, some of the, and I don't know how to say this in a, you know, I hope people aren't watching at dinner time, but the pus from the infection of the udders ends up in the milk. And the somatic cell count, they call it, the bacteria count inside your milk, goes up. There's a cost to the cows. Uh, The cows get sicker when they're injected with RBGH. They're injected with antibiotics. 
We know that people are consuming antibiotics through their food. And we know that that's contributing to antibiotic resistant bacteria and diseases. And we know we're at a crisis when somebody can go into a hospital and get a staph infection and it can't be cured and they die. That's a crisis. I'd encourage European farmers to take a look at the Roundup Ready technology. Frankly, it's very good for the environment. It's a sustainable system. So, give it a try. During the war, 40 million liters of Agent Orange, containing 400 kilograms of pure dioxin, were sprayed on trees in southern Vietnam. Three million people were contaminated, including thousands of American soldiers. In fact, it's a monocrop that destroys everything in its path. not have heard of Monsanto, but you've certainly consumed their products. They're multinational agricultural biotech corporation and the world's largest producer of genetically modified seeds. They're responsible for things like bovine growth hormone, aspartame, and terminator seed technology. Monsanto is notorious for its aggressive and heavy-handed business tactics, questionable ethics, and here's the best part. They're deeply entrenched in our political system, having spent $2 million on lobbying in the first quarter of 2009 alone. One major factor in their success is the fact that nearly all of us consume Monsanto products every day without even knowing it. Here are two easy changes you can make that will have a big impact. First, stop consuming conventional sugar. About half of our sugar supply comes from a sugar beet. Monsanto introduced their genetically engineered Roundup Ready sugar beets to the market last year, and this year their beets will comprise over 90% of the U.S. sugar beet harvest. Fortunately, there are a number of alternatives that taste just as good, including honey, stevia, evaporated cane juice, or even fruit juice. You can also substitute organic sugar. Secondly, one of Monsanto's key products is Roundup, the number one weed killer in the world. So what kind of effect can we as consumers really have on a corporate giant like Monsanto? Well, if 50,000 people watch this video and each person who watches it tells just four friends to substitute their next Roundup purchase with a natural alternative, we'll divert $6.7 million away from Monsanto. I'm Shelley Roach. Thanks for watching.